In this video, I'm going to show you how you can offer multiple payment plans on the checkout page for a specific product. So as you can see in this example, we have three payment plans. You can have as many as you want, but here's one for $500 per day. As you can see, it updates right here. A one-time fee and a monthly fee, which also includes a free trial. So the way that this would be created is you come inside of your admin dashboard, go to upsell, go to products. And we're going to create a new product, so I'm going to click Add New. So you'll give this product a name, so example plans. And you'll want to make sure you switch it from a single to subscription. And then right here you have the option, do you want to display multiple payment plans? You would enable this to yes, and then you can start adding your plans. So you would click on Add Plan give it a plan ID. This is more for internal um, usage. It's the customer won't see this on the front end, but it's more for um, internal stuff. So you can you can call them the same thing. But so let's say we want to create a monthly plan. So I'm going to copy this plan ID. This is the plan name, which they will see the customer will see on your checkout page. And then you can give it a price. So let's say this is $99 a month. And then you have the same option, just like when you're creating a normal subscription. Do you want it to be um, how how many the billing interval, how many times they should be billed? Do you want it to be a recurring charge limit? Should there be any trial periods, anything like that? So let's just say we want it every month, so it would be one, and then we're going to change this to monthly. So that plan is set. Now let's say we want to add another plan. This is a yearly plan. So let's say this is going to be a thousand dollars a year billing interval so one for every year and then we just got to simply change this to yearly now let's say we want to add a one-time payment so we can call this a lifetime plan we want it to be let's say 1999 so with a one-time plan you would simply toggle this one-time payment to yes and I'll hide the rest and so now it's just going to be a one-time payment. Let's even take it a step further. Maybe we want to offer a trial. So let's say trial plan. So the subscription price will be, it will match, you know, we have a $99. So maybe it's a little bit more if they want a free trial. So maybe instead of $99, it's $107 per month. So what we can do is we would change this to monthly again. So it's a billing interval of billing period of one month, but we can offer a trial period. So the trial period length is, let's say we want to give them a seven day free trial, seven days, and it will be a $0 price. So a free trial. So now we have four plans in place. Let's go ahead and publish this product. Okay. So now if we go back to our URL options where we can grab our purchase URLs, I'll come back to this in a second, but first let me just grab the purchase URL for this product. I'm going to throw it into an incognito tab over here. So now as you can see here, we have our four plans that we just created. Our monthly plan, our yearly plan, our lifetime plan, and a trial plan. And as you can see, $99 a month. Yearly plan, when we click on that, it automatically updates to the $1,000 per year. The lifetime plan, as you can see, it's just a one-time payment. It's not a subscription. And then the trial plan, it's free for seven days and then $107 per month. So that's how you can enable multiple payment plans for a specific product on the checkout page. Um, wanted to come back to this real quick to show you everything comes into play where, where they should be sent based off of if they purchase any of those products. So if you go to the URL options and you set the page where they should be sent after they purchase, no matter which one they purchase, they will be sent to that page. Um, a cool thing though is we have this planned purchase links. So the nice thing with this is it gives you the opportunity to create maybe a pricing table on the sales page and depending on which pricing plan they click, it will automatically by default land on that one on this on the checkout page. So let me just show you, show you an example. So plan number two, which was our yearly plan, if they go ahead, if you use this link and then embed it inside of your pricing table, when they click on it, they'll be redirected to the checkout page. But as you'll see here in a second, it automatically defaults to that yearly plan. So $1,000 per year. Let's say they clicked on 
plan number three, which was the lifetime plan. Let's go ahead and copy that. If they click on that, when they're redirected to the checkout page, by default, the lifetime plan is innate checked and they are going to be purchasing the lifetime plan. Again, they can come back and change it while they're on the checkout page, but it just allows you to set up the links in a pricing table or however you're doing it instead of just sending them to this checkout page with always it being monthly plan maybe you send an email to your current database offering them this special lifetime plan so when they click on the lifetime plan link it's automatically going to be defaulted to the checked off plan so hopefully that helps if you have any questions please let us know